Welcome back to Metroid Prime 2 Echoes! It's time to explore... Oh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sorry. It's time to explore a brand new area. The second area that houses all of the planet's energy. It's the swamp, right? It is the bog. Bog, excuse me. Which might as well be a swamp. The quagmire. Of course, you know, swamp sounds more like, you know, like, musty and dirty. You know, bog, it just sounds like... I don't know. Bigger, maybe? Just sounds not pleasant. It it really isn't. I mean, it used to be luscious. It used to be a forest, and now it's a bog. Well, the bog is where the gloves come off. Oh, this is where the game starts getting a little bit more cryptic, a little <laughs> bit more confusing, and because the map opens up, a little bit more complex. I'm just visualizing a copy of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, like whipping its gloves off and about to backhand a player. <laughs> Oh, well, it's about to. Yeah! So the best way to cut across to where we get to the bog is through the temple. This is where we're kind of supposed to go, because... Yeah, we got the translation thing that we need to do it, and let's, let's do it now. Catching up on a couple small things before we hit the big picture. Yeah, well, you know how it is. It's fine. Dark Beam can take these guys out with one shot. Ooh, I like that. But they don't drop anything, which is bad. It's like you're draining their light. They're completely evaporating their light with darkness. E exactly. God, we're playing the precursor to Kingdom Hearts. Getting down to the amber hologram down here. The pathway to Torvus. Beyond, here's the pathway to Torvus. Did you Welcome know- Welcome to the pathway to Torvus. Did you know that Torvus is down here? This is the pathway to there. <gasps> oh, how'd you figure that out? Uh, I mean, light beam. Yes, that's go, right. There we go. There you go. There's the ticket. This is also the pathway to to a better living wage. Harmony class drones. Oh, I think part of the reason they managed to get this done in 18 months is because they used a lot of assets from Metroid Prime One. These oh, look yeah, like definitely. Bombo Sparks, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Well, that's all you gotta do is you know change the name. They're basically paraphrasing themselves. I mean, this is basically the second half of the operation the pirates were doing anyway, so you know it kind of makes sense. These are Chozo-adjacent folks, so... It all makes sense in the long run. So... We're basically on our way to a winding corridor that takes us to the Torvus Bog, but it is blocked by a super missile door. Hmm... We don't have that yet. So we gotta find another clever way to get around there. See, I thought that was a setup for, guess what we're gonna get next, but... No, he's throwing me for a loop. A <laughs> sick half pipe, bro. <laughs> we gonna be on that? Oh, there's a half pipe. You know, that's that's certainly one thing. You're seeing hints of stuff you're gonna be getting, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the order as to when, I don't know. Hmm. Ow. These sand bats out here, they're giving you a hard time. <laughs> Basically, break checking you. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I love the idea that Samus just headbutt just a couple of them. Well, nothing going on except for this, you know, hallway of eyes. That's foreboding. I don't like that. Hmm. You noticed you're dark cautiously here. walking in here. Because there's some more wasps here. Oh, that's it? Yeah. No, I thought it was just going to be like a biblically accurate angel walking in. So there's a super missile door over there. Ah, there we go. But we got to go through this portal first. Oh, and there they go. Sucking you in with another portal. It's kind of important, you know. Time for not only super missiles, but the speed booster! And the lava cannon! Or, I don't know. We're basically gotta make our way around that super missile door. Going in one way, coming out another. Yep, because that super missile door over here is a regular door. But the way back is another super missile door. That's actually really clever. Yeah, and it was also a one-way portal, so we ow, can't really ow. get here. There's there's a lot of ow happening. Are you sure you're going the right way? It's it's fine, ow. Because remember those those ink claw don't hurt us. It only seems like ow, but because we have this, it, we we have the dark suit. It's not as much ow. Corrupted sentry. Corrupted sentry. Basically, a drone that the darklings have possessed. And also like one of the first enemies you saw in Metroid Prime. Exactly. Except they look a little different and probably hurt a little more. You know it's okay if a game reuses assets. 
If, if, if it leads to quality like this, then by all means. Like, I see complaints. Oh, you're just reusing assets. These right here are tendrils that the Ing have set up to prevent access. Oh, well, shoot them down. So if the, no, you can't. They're they're invulnerable. Oh, they're impenetrable. There's no way through. They're inevitable. That's a context way of saying that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That's a context way of saying you can't go this way. Okay. Because this would be like a you know a, a way you could go through in light world, but because it's the dark world, they like no, you can't go this way. Usually, it's protecting something like you know the Torvis Bog Elevator, so you can't go from you know. Dark, the dark temple grounds to uh, the dark Torvis bog from an elevator. I only do that in the light world. Whoever, or if they're protecting the temple per se. Whoever came up with the light shield here in the small elevator gets a pat on the back. That's fantastic. So the way this puzzle works, you get that first one on there, and then you basically start from the other side and go your way from there. Oh, I didn't even notice this was a puzzle. I thought you just had to do all the buttons. Yep. Well, we do have to do all the buttons because we have to activate the next thing here. Hmm. Oh, I see. The door closes behind you. We're losing a lot of health. And even though we know what we're doing, we're still losing quite a bit. But luckily, the game's on your side. You gotta jump in that hologram, and it's gonna take you back the way you came. Okay. But it's okay. <laughs> I see how you're trying to rapidly escape. <laughs> because it's a shooting gallery. Oh, sweet! Not only does this lock you in position, so that way you can heal from the, uh, from the nastiness of Dark Aether, but you can shoot these flying bats, I forgot what they're called. Dark bats? Mood knee bats? Hey, know. dark bats! Why not? Dark bats, we'll call them then! Dark bats! You can shoot them, so you can get some health back, and get some of your missiles back, too! And if you're low on beam, you can shoot them with whatever beam you want to get whatever ammo you need! It's, it's, it's perfect! Huh. Look, we're at full health! Almost! <laughs> Now ow, we're at full ow, health! Ow, 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 <laughs> Until we put our toe outside! And then be careful, because this is a drop down. Oh. Make sure that you jump over to the portal, otherwise you'll have to go all the way back. Oh, that's mean. But now... Are we behind the super missile door? We are indeed behind the super missile door. Sweet! Hi, everybody! And then some pirates have decided to show up as well. Hello, oh, pirates. I'm glad they invited us. What's up going on, guys? You mining some Phazon? Oh, they're dark pirate troopers now. You mining some darkness? What's going on, friend? Light or dark missiles seem to work pretty good. I like when you shoot the bad guy with the missiles. Oh, me too. It's great fun. Can't wait till we get light and dark missiles. Just because it sounds cool. There. I shoot you with the power of light! This is essentially going down the corridor, room to room, figuring out these specific slide puzzles. And more pirates. Oh. Yes, more pirates. Uh, I can't believe we got a slide puzzle in a Metroid game. There we go. Fantastic. So, if we go ahead and open this door, we can see that it reveals something very important, which is a... <laughs> Sorry, was this one? My bad. Hey, there we go, there we go, there we go. It will not let you jump on there until it's done. There you go. That's so odd. I think just because it's moving and yeah. too much collision weirdness. Down here and water. Oh. Mm, I'm moving kind of a little bit slow. Yeah, That's a little, right. little bit of sluggishness here and there. Forgot but to, nothing too impossible. Forgot to bring the sunbathing suit. Oh, here we go. So we got this over here, but we can also <gasps> go down this little tunnel over here. Missile pack. Give me the goods. D wait, Not wait. a missile pack, but another piece of lore. The world warped. Amidst this turmoil, we discovered many disturbing anomalies. Spatial disturbances appeared across the land. Objects went into a state of dimensional flux. Their atoms divided between aether and somewhere else. This was a little time to prepare uh, to ponder these strange happenings where we had to do with the devastation of our of our lands. So it's then noticing, oh, wait a minute, it, it, something's weird. They're, they're going into a weird state of, of dimensional flux. I think there might be another world here. Mm. This takes you back to just outside where we started, where we got out the portal from. Oh. So we still can't go back. We need to go forward. Hello, I'm here. And to do that, we scan this amber hologram door. This will take us to 
to Torvis Bog. Proper. Oh, dude, the Torvis Bog is back here. What a dump. <laughs> hey, we haven't even gotten there yet. It could be nice. I like this, though. Yeah. It's a nice little, uh, you got a waterfall here and cliffside. Not bad for a bog. Beautiful view. Yeah. So it looks pretty nice out here. Even the skybox looks pretty good. It looks oh. like an impressionist painting. Yeah. Wow, it just looks so serene. I bet yeah. I could I could even <laughs> Important to make that distinction for Metroid Prime Hunters. Oh my god, you don't immediately die. You, 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 you don't even take that much health, you just lose ten health. Not bad for, you know, falling ass over tea kettle down a mountain. <laughs> Because when you fall down a pitfall in this game, the game's going, be serious. When you do it in Metroid <laughs> Prime Hunters, they're trying to challenge you. I kind of like that disappointed Father Nintendo is just going, <laughs> uh, just do better. Uh, oh, no, no, no. This is this is Father Retro we're dealing with uh, here. Excuse me. We Father see what happens Retro. when Nintendo tries to make a Metroid game. And, <laughs> a lot of new stuff to scan here, like the Torvus Bearer Pod. Ew. Every every locale has their own containers and dangerous ones of sorts. I would love it if you shot it and out busts an actual bear. <laughs> this time here, it comes out with like poison gas. Oh, more gas. Yeah, more gas. This is a bog after all. Blech. I'm thinking a lot of moss. What makes a a bog an actual bog? Because it's not a swamp. That's different. Or is it? Well, it could maybe it has to do with like the locale, the flora. Oh, the, maybe. The fauna, even? Maybe more water than... The hanging pods? Bog. Ugh. Those don't look nice. And they're just the same thing as the ones on the ground, except they're in... They're on a wall or on the ceiling. That's actually a scannable item? Yeah. Wow. Something different, I mean. Hello, Torvus Bog! This is it. Basically what happened is that the forest oh, wow. flooded and took everything with it. That'll do it. That's probably the definition of a bog, when water takes over. That might be it. It's not quite the same as a swamp. Oh my. We got shredders here. <laughs> They're little, like, pea hats from Zelda that they... find you, come to you, and explode. They're trying to make turtle soup. Yes! I just wait until I get in the dark world. You see the super shredders. Ah! Whoa! This is Estelai's testament. Estly? Estly? They came to the lagoon in the night, delivering true death blows before I could detect them. As my life faded, I sent a call to the cater to warn of the surprise attack. May they find my key and dispatch the ing who killed me. Only then will my final rest be peaceful. Wait, he left a key? Somewhere around here. Well, yeah, I mean, okay. they all had temple keys, and they got stolen and brought to the Dark World. Oh, right, temple keys are a thing. Here's our safe station that we that we can use. Very well, very good. We Get, still got more to explore. Here's some air freshener for dealing with the bog. Let's open this place up a little bit. I mean, I at least want to see where the temple is. Don't you? I do. So we got to go down here in the water. Oh, we're going to get the gravity suit. For the love of God, I hope we get the gravity suit. Well, for now, we get hidelings. <laughs> Are these... It's basically water sand bats. I, I they show up in, in big, intimidating schools, but you can use them to get a lot of beam ammo back if you need it. That's pretty nice. I thought they were, like, mutant seahorses. They hurt a bit more than your typical flying predator, but... You know, they're easy enough to avoid. I love how you had the scanner ready and waiting. It's just like, what am I going to find down here? In the oh, I, know, I know exactly where all you are. You can't hide from me. <laughs> You're like a paparazzi, but not. You just want information. You don't actually want pictures. Oh, you're moving so slow. I know, it's oh, awful. Oh, man. You're really, well, it's really fine. bad if they made an entire level like this. So. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, but at least we get rewarded with the rain effect. This is really nice. We got lore back there, but that's of the Emerald Hologram. We don't have that in the, our translation device yet. Oh. But here we got nasty stuff. Oh, I thought they went invisible. These are these are shriekers. Oh! Plants that yell? Flying plant predators. It is a plant! Bursts from Earth and takes flight. Fires sonic blast, generates stealth field that disrupts most visors. Is that why they're... They do disappear! They do! Oh, wow! Just because of the, the sonic waves. And they're fucking pricks, too. Oh, that's cool. 
Why are these plants sentient? Why do they have life? The Aang, probably, or maybe that's part of the terrible plague that's, uh, you know, lambasting like, Aether like, right now. Like, if we were to walk into a bog, would we turn into plants? Check this, though. This is a sentinel crystal. I like this. It's a Luminot sentinel crystal. This is basically how Yumos watches our progress. Oh. There's security cameras <laughs> that are put around here to, you know, keep an eye on the place for war, but the ones that are still broadcast are sent right to Yumos. So he's been watching us. He's been watching us. The entire time. Yes, he has. And you still don't think he's the villain? No! Okay. If, you, if you're thinking that there's going to be some betrayal thing... No, 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 no. The big Mothman twist. No. Ooh. This is an expansion of Portal, but we can't get to there right now. There's no possible way we can get there. Nice dark world portal. What we can do is we can scan this and open the bridge this way. Ooh, that's nice, that's nice. There we go. So we can jump down from over there and go to the safe station if we need to. Ow. And more importantly, I'm gonna go through this white door here. Oh, yes. I hate this room. <laughs> Maybe not this room. No, wait. Different room. Sorry. This room's fine. This, room, this room's okay. I like this room. Are there a lot of rooms to hate in the bog? There's, there's always... You know, Metro games, there's always one room that's like, ugh, this room. Right, right. This this one's okay. I don't I don't have any problem with this one. I, I take it back. It's okay. It's a nice transitional room from one place to another. It's fine. Oh, we get an introductory cutscene, which is always promising. This is a big pl Oh! I've seen you before! They're basically amphibious she goths. Uh. But they have a different name. They're Grinchlers! <laughs> <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. I was just thinking, was just thinking the Onceler and the Grinch had a child <laughs> and it was amphibious. <laughs> uh, I mean, the, how bad uh, 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 can they be? <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. I never knew the fascination with the once lurk. Well, my name is Samus Aran, and I speak for the trees. <laughs> and besides, uh, you, you speak for the Luminoth. I, I I was there in during once lurk craze, and we are not the people who uh, are in. We we don't. The once lurk is out of our category. We don't stand the once lurk. The actual evil. There are th there is a certain demographic of folks who like the once lurk, and we are nowhere near them. I don't understand it. He's a bad guy. He is the bad guy, he but, he, but he but he's th but he's thin and he's and he's foolish and he's you know, kind of uh, kind of attractive in that trendy sense. Oh God, people are weird around animated characters. It's not that weird. <laughs> I know. Good job See, fighting the the she frogs. They're Grinchlers. Grinchlers. Really annoying because they're like oh bloats. <laughs> Yeah, blood sack. <laughs> I'm such a child. They generate gas. <laughs> you you <better>. juvenile freak. <laughs> <laughs> what? what you hey, <laughs> you go up and scan a gas bag. Of course, I'm gonna laugh at. Okay, it. weep weep. <laughs> yes, yeah, sound the nerd alarm. Weep 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 weep. <laughs> All right, another dimensional flux object here. Oh, nice. That's uh, that's neat. We gotta go to dark ether because the bridge is not in the right place. Oh, we need to do that in the dark this world? This needs to go over to that door, but uh, it's going over to this portal over here. Oh, how convenient! Send me! Yeah, I... There's, I didn't there's mean to call be... you a gas bag, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to sound the the nerd alarm. <laughs> oh, please do so. Weep, weep, weep! I wear, I wear that badge with pride. <laughs> here we are in Dark Ether. Ow. Dark Ether in the Torvus Bog. Where instead of uh, regular water, everything is poisonous, awful death water. Because of course. Because of course. Because of course. Look at that purple stuff. You think that's any good? You think, you think it's anything good? No, it's awful. In the dark world, they have a numerous supply of Mountain Dew pitch black. Finally. This, put, Ooh. this puts everything right. We can't go into that one because, well, once again, super missile door. Can't do anything with that. You could actually see it adjust via the light world. Exactly. That was a fun effect. Got some new uh, scannables to scan, like the Ink Sphere Cache. The oh. Torvus Bog version of the dark dang it. it, it dollar dollar bills, y'all. 
Then we got uh, one of those uh, things over there. See if I can get it without quick, falling quick, into the water. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, Dark Sentinel Crystal. It's the Dark Sentinel Crystal. Same thing, basically. And time to fall in the burning Mountain Dew Pitch Black. It's the uh, set, it's the security cameras that they sp they set up on Dark Ether. Ow. Still transmits to Umos. Holy Still can shit. see what he what he what we're doing here. Okay, so that hurts about as much as when you didn't have the dark suit. A dark flogus. Bless you. A carnivorous plant. A lot of evil, angry plant yeah, life what, around what here. Yeah, what is with the? I, I thought flogra was bad, but no, we have so many man-eating plants. I got it because the forest flooded and the ing took control of the water. Uh, that's why. That makes too much sense. The ing aren't actually possessing the plants, they're possessing the water. Of course. Oh, uh, <laughs> the lore, it goes deep. So, back in the light world, oh, we, hey. but uh, that's over. Oh, oh, hello. Hi, boys. How'd you get in here? Oh, we Ow. got we, we got a new enemy type now. Oh, hopefully they can't swim. Oh, these guys, these guys, these guys could be could be troublesome when I can fucking find them. <laughs> I was about to say. Dark pirate commandos. Ooh, assassins. Darkling possessed elite space pirates. Increased combat ability to the symbiotic. They've been completely taken over by the ing. They're, they're some of their strongest warriors. How are we going to take care of them? Probably the same way we take care of everything. Dark beam take. Dark beam freezes people in place when you charge it. Do that in a missile and they're gone. Jesus, the. I have never seen an charge enemy dark beam and then a missile. So incompetent. Oh, it's deflecting. Get close enough and bam. Holy shit, how did that deflect? I think I froze him right when he was activating his uh, stealth monitors or oh. whatever. But this is the game kind of subtly telling you, Hey, you can use your beams, you know. In fact, you should use you your should beams. You should use your beams, yeah. That's, Don't conserve that's, ammo. That's the first little little hint that maybe you should start using your, your beams now. Well, there's a free gimme. Here's a missile expansion. We're going to need a lot of missiles, too. Oh, okay. So this is perfect. This still has this game still has a bit of an ammo problem. Let me, let me tell you what. So this is the room. I, this is the room I hate because of this guy right here, the Sporb. <laughs> okay, that's a Pikmin enemy. This Sporb is an asshole. Fires poison need ah needler. Mm. So this is another like loading zone where we're going from one area to another. We got to go into a morph ball here and go up this tunnel. Oh, but the Sporb Lord. here. Likes to grab you when you're ah! doing stuff, and then it just does damage and, and does all that. <laughs> it doesn't even... Well, it of course is, it takes you off the track. And it is relentless when it does that, so I find uh, it's just better to just turn to Morph Bulb, which activates it. Take me. Let him grab you, and then drop a whole bunch of bombs, and that should kill it. Did it? Yep. Really? Yep. Oh, yeah, it did. So now I can go, I can go past here unmolested. Wait, did that take... Like an entire E-Tank? It's an asshole. Jeez! It's part of that difficulty creep we're talking about. Oh. Part of the polishing and balancing that really this game could have used, and the devs have even said that they wanted to put a bit more of that polish, but, you know, time constraints. So, out of curiosity, mm -hmm. if we actually do get, you know, a port of all three, of all three Metroid Primes before 4 comes out, I want to know, would they be able to fix some of the things they wanted to fix? They already have. In the Wii re-release, I know that. Yeah. Oh, so it, the power creep was actually fixed? Yeah, a, a lot of it was fixed. You know, oh, so okay. All right. I thought it was still so difficult it, in the Wii version. Some glitches. Apparently, there's a there's a bug that you can crash your game between door transitions. Oh, Jesus. It's yeah, like, that, that has to be fixed. I've never experienced that before, but... That is, that is one of the things you, you don't hesitate to fix. Yeah. You, you make sure that stuff gets taken care of. It hasn't happened. I don't, th I don't think it's you know very common, at least not for me. If it does, I hope it's on film. But I think the... Uh, I think the loading screens are lessened a bit, too, so it just loads faster. That's good. But that's why I'm playing the first release of every version, so that way if new versions come out, you don't need to worry about them, because we're just doing the first one that was always there. See, that, that's what I really liked about the olden times Check where... Out. Oh, yeah, I want to see this. Go down here, right? Okay. E-Tank. Oh, nice. But yeah, the olden times where if you wanted a patch, you had to buy a new version of the game. Or they re-release it as, like, the Game of the Year edition. Game of the Year! It's actually fixed! And working this time. Oh, and I still remember Grandpa and Nintendo having to release a separate Wii channel to fix Skyward Sword. <laughs> oh, it was great. The olden days. Yeah, I never had any, uh, any problems with any Zelda game. Except that one. <laughs> it was the one. It was the one! It's funny every time. 
Can't do swag shot with them. They're too far spaced apart. Now, I will say, I did have one problem with a Zelda game once. Breath of the Wild crashed my Switch one time. And it's never happened since. Also, I got a day one Switch. Was that, was, yeah, that must have been really early then when they were still kind of... Extremely early. Yeah. Like, a day after it released. It froze. I turned it off, turned it back on, it worked fine. There you go. This is the, this is the temple. We made Ooh. it. Ooh. Looks nice. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Looks like they found it too. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, what's up? All right, let's do this. Here Time we go. Time for a party. Come on. Time for a party. You want to fucking go? Let's go. God, their Uber driver immediately zo zoomed off. Oh, wait, no, they're still here. Wave two, we got uh, up, aerial guys? guys now. The, it looks like he's already smoking. Did, did you somehow make a pot shot, like, t off a wall in I, order to take out his, his jetpack? I think they have terrifyingly bad engines on their jetpacks. See, incompetence all over the place. How the hell did the Federation find these guys as a threat? Well, that's why they were chasing him. They got caught because they're so incompetent, but it was the Ing that took both of them out. <sighs> a common enemy. Um, this, this is like a three-way war where we stumbled into here. <laughs> exactly, I love it. I kind of love it. It all works because we don't work for any of them. I mean, we're kind of you know close ties with the Federation, but you know the, we don't the, actually work for them. We, see, we we take on many uh, clients, you know, in in our uh, in our, in our uh, contractor base. You know, whoever pays, whoever pays. I mean, uh, it could be Federation, but uh, they're kind of inaccessible right now. And uh, UMOS, I guess, is our current foreman for the job. Mm -hmm. But what's this? This isn't like any missile expansion I've ever seen before. Super missile! That looks like... Oh, please tell me I was wrong about the light and dark missiles. Please. It's a super... Yeah, it's a super missile! Please? It's a super missile! Of course it is. Can't trick you, I said like super missile like three times already. <laughs> it works the same way as it does in Prime. Does it take five missiles? Yes. It, it looked like it actually took five missiles anyway. Uh, it actually gave you... No, wait, never mind. It didn't. Oh. Did it? Could have sworn you had 55 before coming into this room. But well, okay. I, I used missiles, too, against them. So, so charge the beam, charge shoot the beam, a missile. Hit Y, and it creates, I think, a permanent opening there. Like you blasted open the door, it's gone? I, yeah, I don't think the super missile requirement is there anymore. I'm not sure. Well, that's, it, nor it, that's it, normally it may, how it, it may goes, be. I, 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 I don't know. I think that's been happening since Super Metroid, where you use the missiles on the door. You don't have to do that again, but I might be wrong. Did it happen in the original Metroid? I, that I don't know. I feel like when you use five missiles to open it, it stays open, but I don't remember. I thought that's how it worked. This is the uh, energy controller. Let's go ahead and get everything we need. This is how we're going to get the power of the sun in the palm of our hand. Another Luminous hologram is uh, telling us what we need to do. He crosses his arms. <laughs> I was just thinking that. His b-boy pose. May you succeed where I failed. Oh, no problem there. I am Avok, the last sentinel of this temple. Heed my words carefully. Hmm. Kill they ass. Go. <laughs> hey, you know what you did in that last area? Do that again. So a great flood came to the forest of Torvus, right? The rest of the temple is flooded. We're swimming. All of it is underwater. Of course. Yep. <sighs> We're going swimming. All right. I'm ready. The waters of Dark Aether are foul and venomous. So avoid them if you can. Well, I could try that. You got anything that could help me with that? Nope. Just an emerald uh, translator manuscript, I, I suppose. I have given you the power to read grade seven literature. Grade seven. Oh, boy. I can finally read Huckleberry Finn. Right then. The time for talk is over. <laughs> so essentially what just happened is that he gave us the keys of the basement. Okay. We have to go in through the basement. But the basement is horrendously flooded. And we, poisonous. We, and poisonous, and we really don't have any way to get down there. Sounds like a deal. So we gotta do a couple things before we do that. Heavy combat damage, ing possession attempts, all failed. He didn't get possessed. He was a true warrior till the end. He did not give in to their possession attempts. And he could not spill their secrets. Hmm. The secrets that he gave to me. In time we created machines to open rifts to our to our enemy's world. Volunteer scouts went through the rifts and found a, a dark world, harsh and poisonous. A dark ether. He discovered that this world held the missing half of our planet's energy. 
This is them finding out basically about Dark Aether in and of itself, and then the Ing, finally named. The Ing showed up. The first phase. They wrecked everything. Ah, uh, that's tragic. It's a good thing we just happened to show up. That's why we're here to, or, well, while we're in the neighborhood, might as well bring an end to this interplanetary yeah. interdimensional war. Let's go. Now, if Samus was a greedy bitch, and she, you know, she's bringing the energy to fill in, she's got the last bit of energy, she's going to bring it over here, and uh, then she says, so, about my payment. And you go, I... I, I <clears throat> Well, it's canonical that uh, Samus Aran is very, you know, into her justice. Doesn't take payment for saving the world, gotcha. At least I think she has a grace period. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, how, how... She saved the world, like, what, multiple times? Saved the galaxy? How much does that pay? Meanwhile, Star Fox, credit roll, pay me! Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 this nice fancy medal. Yeah, thanks, General Pepper. How about all those credits you owe me? So here's the basement that's going to be taking us down to the other places of Torvus. But this door here will take us back. This is where we're going right now. Okay. So we've explored enough for today. It's time to make our way back to that save station. Oh, all the way back. Ew. Maybe not as all the way back as you think. Oh, is there a second save station that we completely missed? This isn't like oh, this yeah. isn't very big compared to the uh, to you uh, to Aegon Wastes. Oh, okay. But there's a lot of doors here that can be very confusing. Oh, got some more lore. Oh, there. Yeah, we can now uh, read this one. Read the Emerald Letters. Oh, the Ing attack. This should be good. The Ing attack. Ooh, it should, it should, yeah, this, this should be good. The day came when space was torn asunder, revealing dimensional rifts to a dark place. Horrible dark swarms streaked forth from these rifts, engulfing nearby creatures and transforming them into what we would call Darklings. Darklings. The dark creatures became our enemies, and peace came to an end on Aether. Oh, so good. And peace came to an end. Peace was not an option. That looks familiar. Yeah. Well, well, we swimming. Or are these hidelings? You need more beam ammo. Or health, for that matter. If you need anything, basically. It's like, hey, some peanut butter crackers? Bam, destroy the darklings. Or hidelings. I me. don't have the jelly beam! <laughs> this does kind of look like it would be a grape jelly beam, if there ever there was one. <laughs> You're, you're <laughs> the the regular power beam is peanut butter, <laughs> dark beam is jelly. So what, the light beam is mayonnaise? I icing. No, 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 no. Light mayonnaise. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, they do swim, they are amphibious. Oh man, she Gus never did that. This is all new, all Grenzler stuff. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not even dealing with you guys. I gotta go save the game. You're a mean one. Ow, ah. stop biting me. You really are a... Ah! Please leave! <laughs> Get the hell out of here! Is this where UDJ of the past goes, Oh, they are attacking me! <laughs> in, in practice, though, they came around the corner and like, <laughs> <laughs> When did Metroid Prime become a survival horror game? When did they ever deal with elements of sci-fi horror? Every single time. When has Metroid ever dabbled in that kind of imagery? Every single time. Bullshit, you're lying. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah, you're right. Never. Never happens. Well, next time in Metroid Prime 2, we've opened up Torvus Bog a little bit. Now I think we should go open up Dark Torvus a little bit and deal with the hardest boss in Metroid Prime history. Yes! That's right, it's time. We'll see you then. Super missiles, check it out. That's powerful. Wow. Yeah. Kablooey.